Melbourne City had a fabulous season this year, still going, so it's not it's not finished, but they've won what they call the Premiers. How much is that a reward for perseverance and sticking to principles and and with Patrick a homegrown coach as well? So just to finish my answer on the first one. So I think that the, the, the business of, of football and the business of City Football Group, I think has been validated as the right investment strategy and the right development. And I think people are now following that. And there's no better compliment to, to show that you're on the right track than with other people following suit. But obviously, it's not just about the financial side of it. It's also the footballing side. Does the football work? Are we able then to actually emulate the success that we've had in Manchester in these clubs around the world? And the answer is absolutely yes. And I think you, you look at what we've achieved this year as an example. And we start with Melbourne. Melbourne has had its journey. And today, it's one of the most important clubs in the Australian A-League. It's a member that is now considered one of the best run. And to finish first in that league uh, right now and to be entering the playoffs first for the first time, but to do it now with a club that's now created its DNA, building an academy, building the women's team, building its own age group teams that support that first team, having a coach that has gone through the evolution of, of being part of every one of these teams, and then now coaching the first team. And now, finally, being in first place, the results matching the objectives, and now entering the, the, the playoffs and hopefully uh, in, a, in a very strong position for that. I think it is a great credit to, uh, uh, and a great example of how that mo model has worked and continues to work and is financially both viable and sustainable, and on the footballing side, shows consistent success.